Hello, everybody. It's Christina Dennis, the Transformational Self-Empowerment Master. And it is sunny today in California. And that is so exciting for, for my um, soul. I, I love sunshine. And, uh, you know, I know there are people that love the rain. but And I know it's important to have the rain. But I prefer uh, to have a little mixture, a little rain in the morning. You know, if I could put my order in, a little sunshine in the afternoon, it would all be great. No hail, no tornadoes, nor, you know, none of that stuff. Snow in the mountains. But isn't that uh, wishful thinking? So I'm coming to you today, and I put up a meme yesterday from Aristotle that basically lets me know that there is no original idea when it comes to the self-improvement or uh, self-actualization or this journey that we're looking for in our personal lives. And I thought it was really uh, funny that uh, that back then that this was what they were talking about. And here we are again talking about it. And it's just, you know, it's always going to be part of our world. And I think that's that's a luxury in many ways because I understand and respect the fact that there are many people that don't have the time um, or the room to think about these kinds of things. But for me, it has become a, a life's work to talk with people that are hurting, to work within myself to learn about concepts like humility and self-worth and to let go of ideas and messages that I don't own anymore. And that's what I want for you so much that you can let go of those messages. So I want to pick up from where we were last week about writing our personal histories. I did a lot of uh, listening today and reading about, um, you know, how people discern their personalities, what they, what they, how they figure out who they are. And, you know, it was Enneagrams, I'm probably not saying that right, but the nine points. And it was very interesting to me that that was in multiple religions. And as they were reading the reasons uh, why, you know, you were this, a performer or this, I mean, they described a codependent perfectly, which was hilarious, you know, and all the pitfalls. And when it got to performer, which is tends to have been my personality from an early age, I was a funny girl. I did what I needed to do in order to survive. It helped me hone a lot of skills in an environment where there wasn't a lot of love or encouragement or support. And, uh, and then it got to the pitfalls and it was, you know, uh, delusional <laughs> it was what came up for me. And I thought, yeah, I've made some decisions on delusions and, uh, you know, said ignored my gut and went ahead and went with whatever uh, uh, that person was telling me. And so, you know, I just want to do some, you know, self-affirmation that I am changing. Christina, I am Christina and I'm changing and I'm feeling strong and I continue to change and I continue to, to uh, trade up when it comes to circumstances and continue to learn how to set boundaries. Somebody that I admire talks about force fields. I think that's a great analogy because boundaries can be very black and white and sometimes they can keep me in if I have a boundary um, and that can kind of go into black and white thinking and judgment. So back to your histories. Uh, the reason why we want to take that time um, is because if we don't start looking at patterns and clues to figure out where the trauma is hidden, uh, where the belief system was born, how do we dispel it as adults? You know, uh, we can go back and a lot of people do this in therapy, either through EMDR, uh, if they have a trauma stuck that they can't figure out, and they go back as an adult and they help their, their child person understand that there wasn't very much they could do about that particular situation or it wasn't their fault or they need to quit carrying that guilt or that trauma over it. As I've said a hundred times, therapy is key and very, very important. But we have so many resources um, you have so many resources, including this video, including the guidebook on transformationalselfempowerment.com or any other subject uh, that it, it is a pity to, to relegate it to one person's point of view or one session a week. Um, and I'm not saying anything will replace therapy, but there's a lot that we can um, use in addition to that to have happier, fulfilling lives. Um, we've talked about the whole point of doing this, the hard work and why you would want to do this and so that you have your life to live and that you are living the life that you have, the one that you wanted, the one that you um, have designed, not the one that was um, handed to you when you were a child or a baby even, um, or even before you were born, all the generations of uh, dysfunction and all the mis-messages and the unkindness, you know, 
hurting people hurt people. And I am by no means asking anybody to just shortcut um, or stay in an abusive situation or forgive, uh, you know, put themselves in an unsafe position again by the way of forgiveness. But I am saying that I have gotten a lot of freedom from understanding that uh, pain uh, begets pain. And the way to, uh, to flesh that out is to turn the light on and quit leaving it in the dark. So one of that is going, one important part is going to be you writing about your history. Um, when I wrote about my histories multiple times, I did it in many different ways. And I would love for you to go online and research. Um, I, uh, in the future, will be putting up some PDFs or having them available to people so that they can do the work with me if they would like to. That's usually what I do with somebody and it's very individualized. But of course, we can get somewhere we can go and make progress in every area. Um, the progress principle says that, you know, make a little bit of progress every day in something that really matters to you. You will feel like you are living a fulfilled life. So I want you to take the time. Hi, dear Lynn. Hello, sweetie. I want you to take the time today to write down maybe just a couple of years. Maybe you just write down where you were born and what your childhood felt like to you. Don't judge it. Don't make it right. Don't make it wrong. Don't check with other people. Um, you know, maybe you don't remember. There are several years that I have very spotty memories and I have learned that there's no need for me to go fighting for those memories as long as my daily patterns in today's life allow me to, um, you know, allow me to, to have a successful, fulfilling life. Uh, I uh, deep, uh, believe in prayer tremendously before you start this pro process. Uh, I was always and always have asked for, uh, you know, uh, clarity, uh, for understanding, for the willingness to be honest and have integrity. Um, and the only person that you're shortcutting if you don't and aren't honest about what you've lived through, what is part of your history, you know, big events. We talked about writing down a chronological uh, age and then putting big events on separate pages. Um, is you, if you're not able to do that. Uh, but get started, get writing, um, enjoy the day. Remember that God made you and you're the only person. I mean, you are the only person that is you and we have a role to play within ourselves. We have work to do while we're here, um, both inside and to serve others. And this is my favorite part of living is discussing these kinds of things and being present to people who are willing to work through the hard stuff and want to have a better life and want to be loving and want to serve others and really contribute. So uh, I hope you'll join me and uh, I will come in hopefully with some more tips uh, tomorrow about writing because I want to make sure we don't fall off that journey. Um, and like I said, if you want kind of a guideline, um, I have a free, I think it's like 20 pages, uh, guidebook on transformationalselfempowerment.com that you can download for free. Nothing, you know, no reason, nothing to cost to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, maybe something to reference. The other thing that I want to mention is that I have and spent yesterday quite a bit of time figuring out how to upload videos onto YouTube. And yes, I know millennials are hee 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 hee. That's all right. I'm an old lady. Um, and uh, I'm just proud that I got, I think I have 12 of them up on transformational self-empowerment uh, on YouTube. And for those of you that have friends that maybe are not going to join a Facebook group, but you feel like, oh, this is really uh, helpful information. And I want them to, to listen to that talk that day because, you know, that's going to help that person, you know, deal with grief or that's going to help that person feel, um, you know, like they have relief and they're not alone, which is incredibly important when we're trying to heal and we're trying to walk through this journey of pain um, or transformation. Uh, go ahead and uh, send it to them. I need subscribers. It's how I'm going to build uh, this network and do what I want to do. But I love doing this and I am so grateful that people are supporting me and I am living out my bravest life that I can right now and it was because I was willing to do this work and I had people willing to help me. So have a great day and remember you really need to tell your story. Your family deserves to hear your story. We all deserve to hear your story and we need to know who you really are and that means uh, being rigorously honest during this self-exploration. I'm going to go turn off my alarm if you heard it. So um, I literally set an alarm to do my hair so that I'll stay patient and keep doing it.
I don't know if you do that. It's kind of a brain hack for me. So I don't think that it, oh, it took forever when really it took 20 minutes. So take care. Talk to you soon.